Hey everyone and welcome back. Sarah and Greg have both recently survived the onslaught and now there's only a pipe to protect them. That's right, a pipe. In fact, I'm not even going to give that to him. Um, Sarah, you are going to wield the pipe of fury. Let's get back onto the map. We are trying our best. We, we're actually getting quite close, but I'm really worried now. Oh, they're right there, shouts a masked man, pouting the gun at you. Great. Give me all your food, you can go unarmed. No. This is ridiculous, but we're gonna have to try. I need you to I need you to run, Greg. Run! Hit him! Yes! Well done, Sarah! <laughs> My words, you did well. Right, so we're going to have to, uh, we'll use that now. We've got a first aid kit and a bandage. I'm actually going to give the bandage to Sarah. Because she's going to protect us. We can't afford to go melee because of our health status. So we managed to do that. That's fine. Let's get on over to the next place. <laughs> Avoid it. Keep moving. Yes. That's all we're going to do. Let's stop. Right, let's get over here. A traveller waves to you as you come near, holding his hands in a non-threatening manner. He asks you if you would happen to have a wedding ring. Ah. Oh my god. Tell me you have no food. Yes. Lies! Oh, you're right. Once again, Sarah, defend my honour. Glad I gave her that bandage now, aren't you? And he's down! <laughs> my precious. Love it. And we're actually getting some bullets back. Excellent. Okay, well I think that means while well, we can equip our revolver, we can get it reloaded. Sarah is a, she's a beast with this pipe. We're getting there. We're going to go the top route. Eight piecing beeps can be heard going off within a few seconds of each other. A car alarm is going off not too far from here. A figure can be seen inside with several infected beating and pounding on the vehicle. Uh, we are going to ignore it. We're just going to try and get there as quick as we can. Small metallic glimmer among the trees, stopping to brush away some leaves and stitch you discover a vault of some kind, perhaps a bomb shelter. Try the door but find out perhaps there is another way in. Try to knock the door down. Ah. Oh, we got rid of the keys. And the cross. Oh my god. I'll try and knock it down. Ah, we got quite a bit from it. A baseball hat. Damage of 12? Oh, bats. My god. Listen, why are you playing this game at this time? Uh, we got the bats. Okay. And a rusty rifle. Excellent. Okay, Sarah. Um, I'll give you a blanket, shall we? May as well take the fishing rods. Okay, let's eat, shall we? Excellent. Let's rest while we're safe. Ish. There we go. We're okay. Right, onwards. We are getting close. I'm, I'm getting excited now. Ah, oh, just when I said we're getting close. A checkpoint is set up across the road. Doesn't look like a military is involved. All the tents are white and a few ambulances are parked nearby. Hello, I'm Dr. Miller. We are looking for volunteers to give blood for our research into a cure. You'll see a few more checkpoints like this around as you travel. Would you mind giving us a blood sample? We'll give you a free meal. Hmm. Not sure. He'll detect that we're infected. Oh, I see. Thank you for contributing to the possible cure. I assume you already got your meal then. Damn it. <clears throat> right, we're gonna we're gonna head straight to Zach's cabin. This is it, it's been a long trip. I arrive at the foot of the hill, on top of which sits my old cabin. The place looks far more beat up than I remember seeing it last, but I know the current state of the world wasn't to blame. I approach the building and hear a voice inside, which I know is Zach's. 
I thought I told you not to leave the beer outside. Who knows, it might become infected just like your stupid mother. <laughs> the voice seems to be heading to the door. Don't give him any chance to react, shoot him as he exits the cabin. Ah, oh, we might shoot our son, we don't want that. Wait for him to exit, then draw your weapon. Yeah, we'll do that. What the? Zack stands in place in shock, surprised to see you standing just outside the door. So he's got 10 seconds to get away from you. Oh, you've made a terrible mistake threatening me. Jack shouts. Uh, Zack shouts as he draws his pistol. Alright, well, you know what happens, don't you? I'm gonna set her on you with a pipe. I, I am actually going to do that. We don't have any rifle rounds. What I would love to do is just take his head off with a rifle round, but we can't do that right now. Um, what are we at? We're at five. I'm actually gonna use my health kit. Oh, we can't. This isn't good. Um, I might have to give her a gun. He's been hit. Yes, he's down. Ooh. Dad, Tom rushes over to you, tears forming in his eyes. I drop everything I'm carrying to pick up my son, holding him close to your chest. You aren't letting him go ever again. Unless I find a cure. Uh, you check him over, he's a bit dirty but otherwise on hand. Much to your relief. Tom, for his part, seems fine, but you've got no doubt there'll be some mental scarring. There's no time to worry about that now though. You gather whatever supplies you can find and leave the tainted place with your son in tow. Making sure the two of you reach safety is now your top priority. What's wrong with this place? We could have done it up. We could have been safe. So food rations, shotgun shells. Uh, we'll give Tom a blanket. Sarah's already got a blanket. I'll have a blanket. Tom, you're a little kid. We'll give you a baseball bat. Excellent. Um, I'm happy with that. Let's eat up. Tom, you don't need food. Ever. <laughs> Right, okay, so we've got our son. Where the hell do we go now? Final destination. We've got danger, nothing's here showing danger. Okay, we're just gonna have to keep pressing on, aren't we? Our fatigue's building. Oh. There's one right behind us as well. So, shotgun only is all we have. gonna get you in the middle of the road I'll get my boy behind me get me there have I got a shotgun no um, so you're gonna have to give me your pipe I think uh, get moving why is no one moving this is what I want to know a little bit better. Oh damn it, we're in trouble here. Alright, kids. Tom, it's time for you. It's time for you to step up, be a man. Tom. Go on, Tom, you can do it, kids. Oh my god, I'm dying. Just reunited with my son, I'm gonna die. Right, where's Tom? Tom, over there. Oh my god, I'm down. <laughs> Fall to the ground in agony. No one have met my maker. You wonder how things have gone so wrong. With my last breath. I curse myself for starting on such a dangerous journey, but I had to for my son, and so my journey ends. So that's it, it's the first time we've uh, had a play of this game on the channel. Um, I actually enjoy the game, it's uh, really interesting, I understand it's not to everyone's taste. Um, as the game proceeds through its development with updates, I expect there to be a lot more added, as you can see. Um, it's, it's fairly simplistic right now, but the most important thing is it's enjoyable. So if you like what you see here, I encourage you to go and support the devs, go and purchase the game, leave some positive reviews if you're liking it. 
and obviously some comments on the channel so if you want me to do another series you let me know. I like they've got this at the end so we get to see how we survived. Should be like two minutes after the game started Burton gets infected and then the rest of the time he stays infected. We lost actually a lot of people along the way. Elliot, Olivia, day nine was shit. And Sten, Sten didn't actually last too long I don't think. And then, oh yes, day 11, we had double infection, the Infection Brothers. And then uh, we left the other infected boy in the car, we didn't even want to go and help him. Yeah. Sten died, yeah. And Sarah joins, I wonder, I hope they're just Sarah and Tom. Got the hell out of there. I really do. Because if they didn't, what, what were we even travelling for? Anyway guys, that's it for the series. Thank you very much for all your kind words and I will see you in whatever video I post up next. Cheers. Mm -hmm.